Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort. Today is Monday, which means we're gonna be starting at Disneyland. We have a reservation. It looks pretty busy right now at the entrance. There's like long lines and like every single like turnstile is like completely packed. But anyways, I wasn't here on Friday, which was the start of Christmas time over here at the Disneyland Resort. But as you guys can hear in the background, they've got the Christmas loop going on. And then here's a look at the lines to get inside the park. See, pretty busy today. Morning. Morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, and yourself? Yeah, I'm doing well, thank you. Too. We were so close to rope drop. But anyways, we're inside the park, and I have to say, the Magic Band's cool, but like all last week, I didn't use it at all. I feel like I, I either didn't charge it or I kept forgetting it at home. So it is great to, to get inside the park with, as long as you remember to charge it and you bring it. <laughs> but anyways, I think as usual, we're gonna start our morning off over here at the Emporium. So we just got inside the Emporium, and there's nothing new in the holiday merchandise from what I saw, but they do have this line right here. Uh, this spirit jersey's been out for kids for a while, but now they have the adult size, which I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a big fan of this line at all. It's a little weird looking. I don't know, just not a fan. Let me know what you guys think, though, of course. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys think. Uh, it doesn't say how much it is, but it's probably like $79.99 or so. And then they have ears. I will say this, the ears are not floppy. Pretty padded. The bow's kind of firm, too. It's kind of cool, I guess. But just the, the colors, I don't know. It's a little out there. Uh, let me see. These are... It doesn't say. So most likely $34.99. And then they also have the lounge fly bag. I mean, if anything looks okay in this whole collection, it's probably the lounge fly bag. But that's about it. <laughs> this one's $75.00. And I can't wait to see what the inside looks like. Usually the inside is crazier than the outside, but the outside's pretty crazy. Watch it be like super calm on the inside. <laughs> yep, just like I thought. Super bland on the inside. It's just pink. So do you guys remember the Steamboat Willie launch bag I showed you guys? I think it was like a week ago. Well, now they got the wallet in too. And here's a look at that. I think the wallet is just as nice as the launch bag. Look at that. It's cool. Very detailed. Oh, look at the back. This is nice. Uh, there's no price tag on it, but I think these are usually like 50 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Let me show you guys the inside. Sorry, it's hard to do with one hand. <laughs> uh, so it's just gray inside. Still cool though. All right guys, but anyways, that was basically everything new I was able to find at the Emporium. There wasn't a whole lot of news, just like that weird collection and then the, the wallet that I showed you guys. And then over here next door to the Emporium, there's some new Snow White merchandise celebrating the 85th anniversary. Look at this bag. So I got Timothy with me. He's doing his, his hey. thing. <laughs> I don't want to get in his way, but check out this bag. Just one bite. Let's uh, this bag is. This one's $34.99. I was wondering what this was, but they actually have it on display. It's the poison apple ornament. This one's, let's see, $39.99. They've also got this pretty nice t-shirt, look at that. It's nice. This one's $39.99, looks like sizes, well, they currently have size small, medium, large, 1X, and 3X. I'm gonna just check the back, nothing on the back. They also have this tumbler. This one's $22.99. They also have this crossbody bag. I'm not the biggest fan of this, although I do like how it's like married to the character. That's kind of cool. This one's $39.99. And then here's how it looks on the back. And then lastly, probably the coolest thing in this whole collection, look, these bobble bar ears. Now, me and Timothy actually scanned the price because it's not on here, and it says they're fifty-four ninety-nine. So that means that the Bobble Bar Disney ears went up five dollars as well. So I ended up coming to Disney Clothes ears, and I've never seen this bag before. I've seen this whole collection. Obviously, they got the ears, the spear jersey, the tumbler, but I've never seen the lounge fly bag before. The color doesn't really come out like on this store because the lighting's really bad, but it's really nice. It's got little fuzzy ears. 
the front's kind of fuzzy. This is really soft. Honestly, if you come here or if you see this bag of World of Disney or whatever, definitely pet it. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, it feels really nice. This bag is $95. And I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's polka dots on the lining inside. Let's see if I'm right. There is. There's white polka dots. Well, sadly, the only new thing at Disney Clothiers today was the, uh, the lounge white bag. I think it was new anyways. My first time seeing it, so I'm going to say it's new. But anyways, we ended up crossing the street to Candy Palace, and they have some new holiday treats. So this really pretty Rice Krispie treat for $6.49. They have the Mickey Mouse gingerbread Rice Krispie treat. This one's $6.99 for whatever reason. This one's a little bit more. They have this really nice Minnie Mouse cake pop which this is a vanilla cake pop and the way to tell i don't know if i ever told you guys i was actually telling timothy right now that the way to tell the flavors of the cake pop is on the top of the stem or the stick where the cake pop is if it has a black dot that's red velvet or chocolate and if it's white that's a vanilla uh, cake pop and then these are also vanilla these are 5.99 then they have marshmallow ones 5.99 and then they have this one with a uh, candy cane all over it which, uh, I don't know about that one. I'm not a big fan of that. And then they have the three cupcakes, or two, two of the three cupcakes I showed you guys a couple weeks ago. So as you guys saw, after Candy Pals, we ended up going to uh, the train station to check out the Disneyland band. We have to check it out every visit. Um, but that was basically everything new I was able to find on Main Street. And I think now we're going to check the rest of the park. So we ended up coming over here in front of the castle. And look, there's a giant stage out front. We've got the Christmas trees, the presents underneath. Um, every year they usually film like an ABC special here at Disneyland for Christmas time. But apparently last year somebody did something they shouldn't have done. And so now they're only doing the filming after hours or something like that. So... Sadly, we won't be able to see the performances happening, but uh, we'll be able to catch it on TV when that airs. But as of right now, there's just this giant, beautiful stage right in front of the castle. Hello, hi folks. Good How's it going? Welcome. I was really hoping that the Dapper Dance would would, uh, would perform, but they didn't. Not until like they got further down Main Street, but it's okay. But anyways, we ended up coming to the Star Trader, and they have holiday cases here. Let me go and show you guys. So here's a look at the holiday cases. Check this out. Merriest place on earth. This one's $29.99. And then they have this one. Also says the merriest place on earth. Does he like this? This one's $34.99. I like this one better than that one. They also have a couple of die cut magnets. They have this one, it says happy holidays. This one's $14.99. We have this one, $14.99, and then this one is probably the coolest one, for also $14.99. And besides those phone cases and those magnets I showed you guys, that's basically everything that's new in here today. So after we finished with the Star Trade, we ended up coming over here to uh, It's a Small World, and we were going to get on. We actually made line and everything, but it's like a 50-minute wait, so I think I'm going to pass on it today and ride it another day. So I'm going to come over here to Adventureland to show you guys Tarzan's Treehouse, or should I say Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. Welcome to Adventureland Treehouse, inspired by a Walt Disney Swiss Family Robinson. And then they even have concept art on how it's going to look. I think Disneyland posted this sometime last week. I just can't remember what day, but this is my first time seeing this. It's pretty cool. And then there's a sign that says, coming soon. Look who it is. We're here with some stormtroopers and Kylo Ren. Oh my God. Surprise. Excellent. You are an ally. He's really Good. intimidating, guys. Their allegiance is appreciated. 
Wait, we got somebody else in the crowd now. Oh my god. We're done. <laughs> Jeez. Track that data pad. Yes, sir. Think they're leaving? They hit differently earlier, sir. Handle it, trooper. Yes, sir. Oh no. The signal is scrambled, sir. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you guys saw, we uh, came to Galaxy's Edge. We actually went through Joy Depot, Doc Ondar's, and the Marketplace, and sadly I couldn't find anything new. So, I think we're just gonna head back to Main Street. Alright guys, we just made our way back to Main Street. For whatever reason, it's like really, really packed today. Look, so many people walking down Main Street right now. <laughs> but anyways, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.